Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use SysTrack to perform IT self-service. So I'm starting with what the end user will see. In this case, let's say my Chrome was performing poorly and I want to know why. So I'm going to head over to the SysTrack tray app to see if there's any information there. So here I can see all of the problems that I'm currently experiencing on my systems, as well as a description of what's happening and some suggested steps on how to resolve it. So I can see that the service has been stopped, but here I can also see that I'm due for a Windows update. So I think this is an easy thing for me to get started with, and I'm going to install that update and see if that resolves my problems. So I installed that update and was able to get back to work, but let's say it's a few days later and I notice I'm having some issues again. I can head back to the SysTrack tray app. And here I can see that those sensors from before are still firing, but as an end user, I don't really know how to address this one on my own. So what I'm going to do is go back into the tray app and I'm gonna notify IT. And what this does is allow me to send a survey to my IT department to let them know what my user experience is like and that I'm having some problems. So let's say I'm still experiencing some application issues and then let's say I want to get descriptive and tell them exactly what's going on. I can also create a ticket to send that to ServiceNow as well. I will submit that. And now I'm going to show you what this process looks like from IT's point of view. All right, so now as an IT admin, I'm checking in on my surveys for the past seven days to see how people are feeling about their experience. You'll notice mentions of sentiment, and that's because SysTrack uses IBM Watson sentiment analysis, which scores responses from a negative one to one. And what this does is let me see really quickly how people are feeling without having to go through and manually read all of the survey responses. I can also see where the responses are coming from and what the average sentiment is in that area to see if an issue is localized. But let's say I want to get more specific and dive into what some of these responses are. I can see the response that the user submitted, how IBM graded their sentiment, and when it was submitted, some more details. But let's say I notice a few related to USB problems. So what I'm going to do is head over to SysTrack AI Ops to see if I can get those fixed for people. All right, so now within AI Ops, I can see all of the sensors that are currently going off in the environment which ones are the most common, which systems are having the most problems. But here I noticed that the plug and play service has stopped for a few users, which could be related to those USB problems. So I'm going to go in here and check this out. If I want to, I can go back to different days to see whose systems were having this problem on those days. I can also see again by location. But what I'm going to do here is actually run a sensor action. And what this does is it's going to restart the service without me having to contact the users or do anything additional. So I can do this right from within SysTrack. And here I'm going to notify the users, which means they'll get a pop-up telling them that the action is going to be run. So I'm going to execute that and that should resolve that issue for those people. All right, I get a pop-up saying that my mm -hmm. command was executed. And let's say I want to add a note to let people know that this action was executed. I can go in here and say that I restarted the service. And then this note is time sensitive, so I will select a date for when the note will expire and click OK. And you can see this note that will be available within SysTrack as well to let IT know that the problem has been addressed. Finally, I'll show you what this looks like within the ServiceNow interface. If you remember earlier when we submitted that ticket to IT, this is where it will show up. So here we can see the survey that we submitted earlier. I'll open the ticket that was generated as a result. SysTrack also has a few store apps and one of them appends a snapshot to the ticket of what the system looked like at the time that it was submitted. So we can actually jump back to SysTrack here and see the sensors that were firing. We can also look over the past 24 hours and see what sensors may have gone off in that time that prompted the user to submit the incident. Here we can even see that 
note we added earlier to say that the service was restarted. And from here, we can continue our investigation and see if anything needs to be done to ensure that the user is back to a good user experience. And that's all for this demo of IT self-service with Systrack. Thank you for watching.